Mike's Snacks here. As you can see, I am right now recording a video standing at the edge of this room. That video camera, although you may not notice, is on top of my computer desk. My computer desk is right in front of me. Right here, although you may not see it, that's a drum set. I play drums. Right here is where I keep my clothes. Over here is my stash of books. And over here is a picture of me and my woman, along with some memorabilia that I've collected over the years, as well as a lamp. Now, over there, some more books. Now, what you do see is a white wall, a brown door, and a jacket, and me. That's all you see. Now, this is infuriating. You know why? Because right now, somewhere in the world, somebody somewhere is suffering someone's dying and you are watching YouTube videos now I'm not at all gonna talk down on you watching YouTube videos because that's what I do I mean, what the fuck else am I gonna do I have nothing else to do I live in suburbia now but we fail to realize that sometimes somewhere someone in the world is dying is suffering it could be someone in your own neighborhood I don't know what goes on at the house next to me, nor do I know, uh, or nor do I uh, know what goes on at the house across the area behind my house. I don't know what goes on in um, that guy's house over there across the street. I see his house. I know someone lives there, and I know because you know every now and then he walks outside, messes with his yard, plays with his dogs, and goes back inside. He has a family. I've met him maybe once or twice. Now, being the American I am, I can't really speak for uh, you other Westerners out there, assuming you're a Westerner. Um, I sit here, and I watch these fucking YouTube videos, and I watch these, uh, these ideas, and I go on these websites because, you know what, it's a good, it's a good way of uh, learning the mentality of another individual or another group. But as I sit here, and as I watch these ideas or these YouTube videos, someone, somewhere, in the world, is suffering, is dying. There's a child right now that's starving. There's an old woman right now that's not getting any attention. There is someone being murdered. There's a woman being raped. There is something wrong going on. But what do I do? I sit here on my ass watching ideas. Now, this is why your lack of knowledge of my drum set or of my fucking books or of my clothes is infuriating. Not because you don't know of my life. I could care less if you know more about me. The thing is, is we are so focused on what's in front of our face that we forget that there are other things that we cannot see. And I'm not talking about something ethereal. I am not talking about something supernatural. I'm talking about something that is real. There is someone in the world that is dying right now as I make this pointless fucking video. And there is someone in the world being robbed. There is someone in your state being murdered or in your province, or in your fucking city. But, you are watching me make a YouTube video. You're watching an idea. Now, is this wrong to watch ideas? No, it is not. In fact, it is the reason why the information age is such an enlightening era. Because it's the golden age of information. We can know anything at any point at any time, but we can. The YouTube watchers. Can someone who has no YouTube, who has, or no, has no computer, you know, has no means of accessing this information, are they able to watch this idea? No, they're not. And that's infuriating, because we don't see that. We just watch me. I'm watching a lens to give the um, impersonation, if you will, the idea, the illusion that I'm looking straight at you, when really, I'm right here. Now I'm looking at me 
But now I'm looking at you. It's fucking pointless. This whole charade of giving ideas and thinking that they will actually mean something when all we're doing is distracting ourselves from real problems, from real people, from real groups and real ideologies that need help, that need some sort of sustenance, if you will. So, I guess the point of this video is, when you're watching a YouTube video or when you're watching something that's in front of your fucking face, think that there's more to it than that. And I'm not talking about when you're looking at someone and you judge them immediately not to do that because it's wrong and judgmental. Fucking do it, I don't care. Because sometimes what you judge people to be in our society, they tend to be that. You want, if you look at a bum, I'm fairly certain that he's poor. You know, if you look at some fucking moron with big ass gauges and a mohawk, I'm uh, fairly certain that he has a low IQ. That was wrong of me to say, but I digress. What I mean is, when you are reading a book, or when you're watching a YouTube video, or when you're driving in your car to your job, you're focusing on those actions, and you're distracting yourself from what's really going on on this planet. When you focus your entire existence on looking at the ground and looking at what's ahead of you, you forget to look up and around you. You forget that this is a round earth and there are other places besides your route to work, besides your occupational location, besides your house, besides your city, your state, or your country. Because country especially in my country, seems to be the farthest... It's the farthest that we let our realities go. We think of ourselves as Americans, and we look at America as this country. Oh, and all those other countries. But, you know, there are places like uh, South Africa, where the unemployment rate is, what, 40%? There are places like Egypt, where, <laughs> I mean... I, uh, whatever. It's pointless to give you examples. You already understand. If you are at this point in my video and you are listening to anything I'm saying, you already understand exactly what I'm trying to convey. The idea I am giving to you. You know what I'm talking about if you're at this point. If you don't, you're a fucking moron. So, I think that I will end this video. Now, I think I'm going to end it now. And I think that you should, after watching this video, look at everything as... Uh, look at everything that you see, physically see, even the ideas you physically see, like the one you see now. Look at it as face value. Do not at all look at it as uh, true or pure, because you're not looking at a pure idea. If you are sitting right next to me, watching me make this rant, for you, for my nar for me to just indulge my narcissism, you wouldn't be here. In here, you're not in here. You, you, what you see in here, even right now, is an electronic interpretation of what's really going on. So, uh, with that said, look at everything at face value. Look at things with the uh, expectation that they are not what they seem. And when you're walking around, living your pathetically mundane existence, not because it is that way, or because you want it to be that way, but because it just happens to fucking be that way, when you're living that existence, keep in mind that there's more. And it's out there. And you have to fucking see it for yourself in order to believe it. But the awareness that it's there should be enough for you. Alright, well... Thank you for watching. If you like it, upright. If you don't, downrate, comment and respond, please. Axel Snacks out.